Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. Today's video is what I eat in a day. Basically, I will show you my breakfast, lunch and dinner. For breakfast, I will be having yogurt with flaxseed and some berries. For lunch, I will have salmon, leek and cauliflower soup. And for dinner, I will have crustless mozzarella pizza and some greens. If you want to see more, let's do this. As always, I will start my day with this electrolyte drink. I'm adding one of those pills to 800 ml of water. And of course, what is morning without my morning coffee? So I would pick a coffee and as always, I would drink a large one. Adding some unsweetened almond milk, MCT oil, tablespoon. And now it's time to make some breakfast. I would have everything ready, my almonds, flaxseed, yogurt and berries. I would take a bowl, put it on the scale, measure two tablespoons or 100 grams of yogurt. It's a natural full fat yogurt. And I will add a large spoon of ground flax seeds, which is about, I would say 20 grams. Further, I will add my berries. There is three strawberries, three raspberries, and six blueberries. Then I sprinkle over about 50 grams of almond flakes, and my breakfast is pretty much ready. No cooking, not much of an effort, but super delicious. I have to say, even my kids really love it. Proudly, all done. Sometimes I would add in chia seeds or hemp seeds, but you really can't go wrong with it. Everybody loves it. So enjoy and let's eat. And again, this tiny bit of awkward situation was eating in front of camera, but come on guys, it's morning. And here comes my lunch preparation. I'm taking one onion, chopping it, two and a half pieces of leek, also chopping it, not too thin though, not too tiny, because I will blend the soup anyway, but just so it makes a little bit faster to boil. When that's done, I take my cauliflower, just take off the leaves, And again, chop it in tinier pieces, but I'm not too bothered with making it too thin and too small. The next, I'm cutting up my salmon. I have bought previously a big chunk of salmon, which I froze and use up only tiny bits for whenever I need. And here is all my prep ready to go. I would add uh, frying olive oil to the pot, put my onions in it and let it fry a little bit until it gets a tiny bit soft. Once it starts to get golden, I would add in cauliflower. Farther, I would add in a leek and fry it for a bit until it gets a bit softer. Adding sea salt. And here it goes. Guys, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not adding that much of salt. It's just put on slow motion, so it looks a lot. But actually, it's just normal pinch of salt. And two cubes of nor um, vegetable stock. Just for the saltiness and taste and flavor. 
and adding salmon. I'm not adding all the salmon straight away because I don't want it to um, dissolve too quickly, but I want my vegetables to absorb the flavor. And I'm adding about 800 ml of water. And now I'm just simply letting it boil. Mix it time to time so it doesn't burn. Here I'm adding about half jar of uh, double cream. And again, just mix it and let it boil until all the veggies get soft. Mm, I can feel the smell just looking at it. And again, all the family really loved it. So brilliant. Towards the end, I would add about two handfuls of cheddar cheese. It will give that fattiness and fullness. And once it's all soft and done, I would just use the hand blender to blend it. Sorry for the messy looks of it. I already started and forgot to start to um, film it. But guys, it's so yummy. As I said again, all the family literally loved it. And here comes my dinner. I already have put some mozzarella as a base and I would sprinkle quite thick layer on the base of the pan. And I would let it fry or cook once it starts bubbling, I would add my toppings. Today I made it quite simple. It's literally just salami kind of sausages. A bit of a spring onion. And three spoons of tomato sauce. And it just say it's sugar free tomato sauce. And guys, it's brilliant look at it and you basically just fry it until the base gets hard so whatever toppings you are putting you want to have them pre-cooked already because it doesn't take too long and here i'm adding my greens so i would just basically fry all kind of winter greens in a butter let it simmer and that's basically it i would add a tiny bit of uh um, single cream just to give it a creamier texture and a little bit more flavor and that's it my dinner is pretty much ready again it's so quick and so easy this is one of the things that I love about keto diet you do not really need to make it all difficult it's just so simple and adding some Himalayan salt and ground pepper as a finished touch and here that's my dinner guys it was great yum yum again the eating in front of camera <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video I hope you really enjoyed it I hope you did find some useful food ideas that you might use in future and if you do please send me your results or your food to my Instagram so I could feature you with the recipes that I have given you and I will see you all on Friday where I will be showing you a video of my Waitrose Keto haul don't forget to subscribe press the like button if you like this video Press the notification, the bell button, so you would get the notification for any upcoming videos. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!